Hey good people, it is to Shire Politics and Fashion here today with a pre-fall haul. End of summer pre-fall. So y'all know that I am the capsule wardrobe queen, but even in my self-appointed role, um, there are times when I too get a little tired of seeing the same pieces. And so I was itching for something new, but I didn't want to really jump out there with a whole lot of pieces, knowing that the weather is about to change. I do live in the Northeast, and so we get all four seasons. By September, end of September, going into October, girl, the temperature is going to change dramatically. And so as such, I have a few pieces that I picked up that are going to be great transitional pieces. And I'm also going to make sure that very soon I share with you all my capsule wardrobe for fall. If that sounds good to you, girl, you in the right place. Just keep watching. Okay, y'all, before I get started, let me tell you what I'm wearing. I'm wearing these new earrings that I got from Israel. My cousin brought them home for me, okay? I'm wearing the same bracelet stack that you all have seen a bunch of times. This great kind of bandeau but sweetheart neck top from Maritzia. And I'm also wearing my new, kind of new, from Rio skirt that I got uh, back in June that I haven't had much chance to wear, so I wanted to throw it on for this video. I will link everything I can down below. Let's get into the pieces because I know y'all have already seen the beauty that is this leather. Actually, if you are following me over on Instagram, you've seen this already because I wore in a kind of rich auntie goes to the airport reel recently. But here's the thing. I'm going to y'all see close-ups of this because it is a work of art. I grabbed this Bottega Veneta pre-spring 2020, so it's a last year piece. Uh, leather biker jacket because... God graced me with this, okay? This is a gift from the Most High. When was the last time, if ever, you saw a leather biker with gold hardware? This is something that is so hard to find. And what I remember is this. I had a Forever 21 a faux leather biker jacket, silver hardware. I had it when I first met on Ray. And when I tell you I wore that jacket until the like plastic, the faux leather began to peel on it. That is how often I wore that jacket. Like from where I would put my purse or my bag, it started to rub off. It was a staple in my wardrobe. I feel like whenever you're trying to give an outfit an interesting or an edgy look, I don't care if it's a t-shirt and some jeans, girl, Throw on a leather biker jacket and it's just going to do what needs to be done, okay? And because y'all know that I wear so much gold, the reality is I don't necessarily grow to draw. <laughs> I don't necessarily draw to pieces that have silver hardware. I, I'm just not going to do it. I don't think that mixing metals is a bad thing. It's just if I could have something with gold, why would I not have the piece with gold? And again, it was on sale. Now, I know folks are probably asking me, does not a brand have sales? Yes, girl, they do. And I've actually talked about that in a YouTube video before about how to shop luxury more affordably, okay? So this jacket was 50% off. Yeah, 50% off, sis, okay? And I have already, because I'm pressed, I'm, I'm, I mean, I'm pressed. Why, why wouldn't I be? I've already worn this. Let me just drape it over my shoulders as a piece to wear like on the plane. My mirror's right there, so. Oh Lord, how excellent. It makes you sing a gospel song. Because when I tell you when I put my shoulders in it, it kind of fits me immediately like a glove. Like it literally sits right on top of my shoulders, okay? And what I know is what's gonna happen is this leather is going to become softer, more malleable, and it's just going to be an amazing, amazing piece. I'll show y'all in the cutaways multiple ways to style this because I've always thought to myself at almost six feet tall that I could not wear cropped pieces and I couldn't be farther from wrong. I am here for it. I am so excited to own this piece. It is my first real leather jacket and I just think going into fall it's going to do all the amazing things it needs to but even now y'all going out in the evening putting on like a little mini dress and then draping this across your shoulders chef's kiss you already know it is amazing 
The next piece is going to look like nothing on the hanger. I know. It is this Frankie shop shirt. It is a cotton shirt and it has accentuated shoulders. The shoulders got a little bit of padding to them, girl. And so it's giving you that like... Again, simple, okay? We're doing jeans. We're doing cut-off denim shorts. We're doing a cute strappy heel. You see where I'm going? We're letting the shirt do all the talking and it is pink i love the sash that is here and actually the frankie shop they doing some good things over there because this like uh sash it can be removed but you do so with a button and i think that is just so so cute okay um because it has that sash you can cinch it at the waist which i'm sure i'm doing in the cutaways i think this cotton shirt y'all know how i feel about natural materials it's just it for fall i would have actually gotten this in more colors but this is the only one that they have currently but frankie shop i see you i am going to be stocking this okay i took a risk because i'm not gonna lie to you i do think that it was a little pricey for a cotton shirt it was 175 dollars but the frankie shop is that kind of brand that is going to give you avant-garde designs at a lower price point than like designer pieces so they're a contemporary brand that i do think is good to keep your eye on um yeah it's just something different for me and i'm so happy that i picked it up Speaking of button down shirts, I was due for another white button down. Y'all know over the summer I got the Versace button down, which I actually wear a lot in real life. Y'all just haven't seen it much on the internet. Um, but that one is more of like a structured fit. I wanted something that was oversized. So I grabbed this one from Mango. The dope part is that I got it in a large so that it intentionally would be kind of more of a, I don't know what this is. Vo voluminous is that the word I'm trying to say y'all know what I mean okay I wanted it to be more of an exaggerated or oversized fit so I definitely see myself wearing this a multitude of ways going into fall I could even throw a sweater or like a, a vest on top of this um I also have something I'm gonna show y'all very hint hint soon that's gonna be great with this um but I just love the fact that a classic white tee I'm thinking about a brooch that could go on it as well a classic white I'm sorry button down will never go out of style I even have a really thick Valentino belt that during the summer months because it is raffia I think I could still pull off and wear this around the waist of it it's just good girl I mean worn underneath a black slip dress tied in the front just so many things you can do as a layering piece and just a staple in your wardrobe and so again i already have a few including a linen one but it was time for a new one and i'm happy i picked this one up from mango 100 percent cotton good quality it's going to be a staple i'm not a huge zara shopper y'all but when zara hits zara hits and i typically go to them for basic pieces that are going to have a little bit of an edge to them or i see what they have that probably is an interpretation of what is at major design houses and there is this one item forever ever forever ever that i have wanted and it is the saint laurent like black shorts i know y'all know queen of basics okay so definitely not like the most designed down the piece that the brand has but a signature piece nonetheless but them Saint Laurent ones is they, they up there okay and so when I saw these from Zara they reminded me of that piece I love the fact that they have pockets a simple pleat right in the front the material I think is like cotton and viscose and so they're breathable but they have a little bit of weight on them which again I think worn with tights or even worn with high boots are gonna look really really good for fall um, I love the fact that it has a tab closure in the front I got these in a medium and I was a little nervous because that quarantine 15 but the medium still fits okay they're kind of high-waisted and I think these are the kind of shorts that look good with really any of the tops that I've shown y'all today they're gonna look really good with loafers and also good with heels I have a pair of like black linen shorts and a black faux leather pair of shorts and so this definitely fits a hole in my wardrobe and I cannot wait to style these up I know you're thinking that I click on the right channel today it's me she me her to Shira more color at this point girl blame it on farm Rio okay I'm wearing the farm Rio skirt today and then I got this piece from farm Rio at Saks down in Atlanta here's where they gonna hit you with the heat girl I thought this was a shirt I'm sure you do too 
I picked it up though and I was like, this seems a little long to be a shirt. Girl, why is it a romper? And it's long sleeved. You can't tell me this is not the perfect transitional piece. I love the colors. I love the silhouette. I can say that it runs a little small. Um, actually, it doesn't. I just got the wrong damn size. Because <laughs> this is a small and I am squarely a medium. But it was the only one they had. And I just had to leave the store with it. I, it was just one of those days. So I might get it let, let out a little bit. But at the end of the day, I still think it works. I think if you were the kind of person that loves like interesting designs, if you love pieces that kind of tell a story, Farm Rio is it, sis. I'm just, this is my third Farm Rio piece and I'm just absolutely obsessed and addicted and I love the price points. This was $200. It's an all linen piece though and the pattern just pops. And so I think it was well worth the investment and a great piece going into fall. Next up is a new bag that you just saw in the cutaway, and it is this Oye piece, okay? I got this, it's a black on brand, and I grabbed this from a shop called Bombshell in Atlanta. I was in Atlanta all last week. And let me just say, Atlanta shopping is it for me, okay? Um, this bag, no two are alike, and I just love, number one, the African mud cloth, always a wave i love the fact that it is like a pop of color but mustard is for me one of those jewel tones that can be worn as a neutral so this is why i specifically went for this pattern it has a lot of space on the inside and i just can totally see myself wearing this all fall but even wearing it now as a transitional piece i love the wooden handles the fact that it has i think this is probably a faux leather probably faux leather because of the price but it, huh. But it smells like leather. Whatever it is, girl, it is well-made materials, okay? Um, and it has feet on the bottom. And I think it was a great price. So this one was $150. Um, brand, once again, is called Oye. It's called the Mid Clutch. And I grabbed this from a Bombshell in Atlanta, an amazing black-owned business. So I don't know if y'all can see it here. I just think it is the absolute i may wear this today actually the absolute cutest like can you just the pattern on pattern is so freaking cute and just walking in with like a neutral heel girl yeah i love this i love this last but not least in my pre-fall slash end of summer haul well this is really a pre-fall piece because ain't nobody wearing this in the temperatures that we got right now um, because when i got it it actually is a lot thicker than I thought it was going to be and I'm not mad at it because very often sweater dresses like this are thin and kind of like coarse to the touch but this is by a brand called Jocelyn and I grabbed it from Intermix I had a coupon from them this is it girl the price was $275 I got it in a size medium and it was definitely worth all 275 US dollars. Again, one of those contemporary kind of like mid-level price points that I talk about often, that if you're willing to just pay a little bit more, you're gonna have something that's going to last a lifetime. Wait a minute, girl. I'm probably styling this together in the cutaway, but you know I could not pass go nor collect $200 without showing you what this looks like together my god today I, I'm just so pleased with this piece I think it's going to be very easy to wear all winter long well fall into winter as well um I can throw the um leather jacket on top of it I can wear ooh my blue, baby blue sandro coat which i'm sure in another video once the temperature changes i'll show you all with it i'm seeing it and it actually was styled with white boots on the intermix website and i have a pair of white boots so it was just like a no-brainer for me to actually see how i would put it into my wardrobe it's a great piece and i'm going to be looking up more from this brand because of the thickness of the weave um and the fact that it is an all natural material and the length even hits at a very very good place for me so i'm excited excited to wear this and i used to think that brown on brown 
wasn't a vibe but I happen to think that depending on the accessories that you wear and the way that you bring in from me gold um, and other maybe colors coral other colors that are going to really pop malachite you could do like nudes on your skin tone and so this dress comes in two colors and I chose the brown just to do something different and I'm happy I grabbed it and that is it good people. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope that it's been helpful if you are also looking for pieces to add to your wardrobe as we transition to cooler temperatures. You know, um, I am from the South. I am from a tropical climate, being from Florida. The fact that fall is coming, it brings a slow tear to my eye. But you know, fighting the reality ain't gonna get my wardrobe where it needs to be. So I just gotta embrace it and just recognize that all good things, i.e. summer, white toenail season will eventually come to an end. If you love today's video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Once again, follow me over on Instagram and I will see y'all across the internet. Peace.